Guys, I don't know if I'm ready to open this. Okay, this email is literally about to determine how I spend the next six months of my life. On tonight's program, ladies and gentlemen, we have something that's gonna make you sick. Okay, um, good afternoon friends. It's like 1 p.m. and I've just kind of spontaneously decided that I'm going to vlog today. So welcome, hello. Basically today I need to get my shit together because I graduated from uni, well, kind of. Like the ceremony was canceled, but technically I have a degree. And then literally as soon as I moved out of Durham, I moved to London in this little flat and I've been here for the last two months, but it's almost time to move out. And basically I am supposed to be moving abroad in literally a month. The plan is, to take a screenwriting course which I've signed up to and basically the reason I want to do it abroad is because I just want to explore a brand new place, I want to meet brand new people, I want to push myself out of my comfort zone and have an experience, you know? Because obviously in terms of the grand scheme of life, there aren't many opportunities where you can just up sticks and leave and move to a different country and go and have these, you know, fun experiences and so I just thought, you know what, I'm 21, why not? However, there is a butt coming and it is a plastic surgery Kardashian butt. It's a big ass butt. <laughs> Basically, because of the obvious global situation, unless you are literally Patrick Starr and you have been living under a rock. Obviously, we all know that COVID is just being a massive cock block of fun. So I really need to email the people running my course to find out whether it's going to be held online because if it is, then I will not be moving because I really want to immerse myself in the city and I thought it would be a good way of meeting new people. And so, yeah, basically if it's online, then it's not really what I wanted to do. And I'm nervous because I don't really want to know the answer because I feel like I know what it's gonna be. And like a lot of the emails I receive, it probably starts with unfortunately. And to be honest, there was kind of no point in emailing any time before this because, you know, the, the situation changes so frequently. I feel like at one point we were taking it week by week, now we're probably taking it month by month, but um, I'm meant to be moving abroad in a month, so I just thought I would vlog a kind of sorting my life out day in the life. So welcome to that. I'm sure it's gonna be a hot mess. But then again, that's very on brand for the Jack Edwards channel, isn't it? You know what, when in doubt, have some super noodles, that'll sort you out. That is a personal mantra, which I will stand by. Now this, is what we call fine dining. Honestly, this is God tier, this just cannot be beaten. And if you disagree, I will fight you, I will stand for this cause, this is a hill I am willing to die on. I'm really wearing a champion t-shirt and champion joggers today. When I say I'm trying everything I can to manifest this, I just wanna be a damn champion. So over the course of the summer, Unite students very, very kindly let me live in this accommodation building and basically, oh! Hello. I can't believe anyone considers me to be a competent adult human being. So I'm basically going to pack a bag with my laptop, my headphones, a water bottle, and go down to the study room as if I'm kind of going off for the day to work and I'm gonna get shit done. I find it very hard to focus when I'm just, you know, in these four walls. Um, so I'm gonna go to four different ones. And yeah, finally send those emails that I've been putting off for quite a while now. <laughs> okay, so it's like two hours later and I've sent the email and I just received a response. Oh no. So I am running back up to my room. Guys, I don't know if I'm ready to open this. Okay, so no biggie, but this email that I've just received is about to determine how I spend the next six months of my life. <sighs> I don't open it. Hi Jack, thanks so much for your email and for including us so fully in your plan. I'm sorry to say that I've got bad news. We won't be resuming in-person classes anytime soon. At the moment, the guidelines about any sort of in-person school are murky at best and with people needing to navigate mass transit, including our teachers and staff, and the threat of a second wave come fall, we're going to stay remote for the time being. <sighs> Yeah, we hope that changes after the new year, but we'll wait for guidance, which is likely to be very, very conservative, even if we are given the green light. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Okay, send me more questions if you have them best, Dana. It was a lovely email, at least. That's it confirmed. That's it confirmed. Oh my gosh. You know how, like, even when you know something like that is coming, it still sucks? <laughs> when you just get that actual confirmation, like I... I've really been hoping and like putting this off and off and off in the hope that maybe things will change, but they're not. Okay, fair enough. Good lord, better start planning then, huh? Okay, so obviously this is 
not ideal, but I've got faith that everything will be okay in the long run. And obviously I have to recognize my privilege as well. Like I'm so, so lucky to be as fortunate as I am anyway to have this YouTube channel and the opportunities that I have had and for you guys for supporting me. So yeah, I do feel so blessed and lucky regardless of anything. However, I just thought the next stage of my life would be a lot more straightforward than this. <laughs> Plan A was to do a master's. I got rejected from that. Plan B was to get an internship abroad. I didn't get any of the ones I applied to. Plan C was to travel to India. I obviously can't do that because of the situation. And plan C was to move abroad and study this course. Now we move on to plan E. <laughs> e for Edwards, I don't know. E for excellent opportunity. E for, ah. Uh... <laughs> so yeah, that's fine. I'm doing fine. You know what, it is gonna be okay. We move. Actually, we don't move. <laughs> We were trying to move, but it didn't happen. We were actually doing the exact opposite of moving. But you get what I mean, we'll move on. I do feel like though, with things like this, you do need to take a minute to just let it hit you and to really feel those emotions and let it sink in before you're just like, right, I'm gonna bounce back. It's gonna be absolutely all right. Because if something means something to you, then it's important. So give me like an hour and then we'll start planning the future, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna watch an episode of Euphoria and chill and I guess just take that in because yeah, that's pretty major. It's like someone just came in and smacked the reset button. They like freaking headbutted the <laughs> reset button for me. So we're very much back to square one again, which is uh, terrifying. Okay, I've watched Euphoria and made myself a little bacon sandwich. And you know what? It's all gonna be okay. This video so far is just proving that my main coping mechanism is food. <laughs> Speaking of which, here we are on the uh, raspberry sorbet. Basically, I think the obvious question right now is why not do YouTube full time? And the answer to that question is just that I don't think that I'm interesting enough in the sense that I don't want to live for the camera. I don't want to do things just because I want to film them. I want to live an interesting life and then film it. For me, eventually, if I do YouTube full time, I will just run out of things to film. I also want to continue seeing it as something that I love and enjoy and is my hobby rather than something that I'm forced to do in order to pay rent each month, you know? Also, on a very real level, um, online hate is horrible. And especially over the last month, I found it really tough and hard to deal with. And I had to leave London for a bit because it was just destroying my brain. It's really hard on your mental health. It's not something that anyone ever can prepare you for or that you should ever really have to prepare for, I guess. Maybe it's just because we've reached that point in the pandemic where people are just being a little bit horrible to each other, I don't know. But for me and my brain and my headspace, it is not healthy to do this full time. Like, people have real issues in the world and this is not one of them, but for me in my little life, it's just tough to deal with. I don't know, this life is so short and I think that we should spend the time we have on this earth being nice to people and hyping each other up and screaming each other's successes from the rooftops and being happy for each other no matter what. I think that's a better way to be. And I will preach that. So yeah, um, in the words of Harry Styles, treat people with kindness. For fuck's sake, just be nice to people. <laughs> but that's why I want to do something as well as YouTube. And I think my content will be better because of it. So it is time to get proactive and start sorting this out. Basically what I'm going to do is look for a job in London. I would love to do something to do with like marketing, publicity, PR, maybe social media. If I can do something to do with books, that would be so freaking cool. Maybe marketing books, that could be the perfect sort of fusion. It's just whether there even are jobs available right now. It's such a hard time to be a graduate. I mean, it's pretty hard to be anyone right now, but especially for graduates, like the job market is just awful. And the issue is for pretty much any job, they require experience, but you can't get experience right now because there are no jobs available. It's been such a weird year, especially because everyone around me was sort of graduating as well. And the people who had jobs lined up have now had those jobs taken away from them because there are, isn't money to pay them. People who are waiting until we graduated now can't find jobs. People who are going traveling now can't travel. People who are going back to uni to do more education, like the whole education system is going to look different this September. It's just a really wild ride, to be honest. So I do feel some sense of solidarity in that we are all in this together. What? And we are just working it out. Um, so let's have a look at some jobs. Okay, I don't want to jinx it, but I found the perfect job, like literally the perfect dream job. And I've just applied to that one. I haven't really found anything else yet that floats my boat. But who really knows? It's going to be so competitive this year as well. So we'll see what happens. Don't mind me um, fully functioning adult here just eating my pasta out of the saucepan I cooked it in. So it's the next day now and that's kind of it for this video. I have been looking at jobs, I've been looking at new apartments in London. I think I'd like to stay in Camden because it's such a beautiful part of London. It's so nice and I've kind of really found my feet here and found a good lifestyle met some nice people, and so yeah, I think I'd like to stay here if possible. I'm taking this as a massive opportunity, a massive chance for growth, and to have a really cool experience that I'm so excited to potentially be able to have. Even if other ones haven't quite worked out the way that maybe 
we had planned in our heads. But I'm just excited, you know, to start a new chapter of my life. I mean, forget chapter, this is a whole new freaking book. This is adulting. This is a whole new library. And I don't even know why I filmed this video or whether I'll upload it, but I think there is something to say for solidarity and knowing that other people are going through the same thing. So if this is all happening to you as well, we got this and I want to be totally honest with the reality of being a young person and moving into this next phase at this strange crazy time. It is crazy featuring Beyonce up in here. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. If this is the first video of mine that you've ever watched, sorry about that. Let's just say I think there are better things on my channel that you can watch. But yeah, sometimes plans change and it's not a bad thing. It is a chance to recalibrate and work it all out and go again. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have had or are having a wonderful day. Um, look after yourself, take some time for yourself today and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening and good night.